When it comes to choosing RAM, should you consider latency, the amount, or the speed? In this video, we're going to jump right into it. First and foremost, for a basic definition, just to get us all on the same page, RAM stands for Random Access Memory, and it's used by your computer every time you open a program. So let's say you open Google Chrome, it's going to pull from some of that source, that RAM memory. If you have 16, 8, or 32, it's going to take eh, 2 to 5 gigs of RAM, depending on how many tabs you have open in Google Chrome. From there, let's say you open Photoshop and Lightroom. Photoshop's going to use maybe three to six gigs of RAM, and then Lightroom will use two to three gigs of RAM. So you can see RAM can be used up rather quickly as you start multitasking. Now, eight gigs of RAM is my recommended base for, say, Photoshop work. Uh, my recommended base for video editing is going to be about 16. And then, you know, you're going to move up and just get more ability to multitask, just more ceiling. Um, so you don't have to always be closing down programs to get optimal performance and, you know, Overall, you don't bottleneck your computer because you don't have enough RAM. But I know budgets are budgets, uh, but this video is more about speed, size, and latency. Let's move forward into the RAM speed or RAM frequency. RAM frequency is based on clock cycles. So every read and write is one cycle. The frequency of RAM is based on how many cycles it can complete per second. So 3200 megahertz, 3200 MHz equals 3.2 billion cycles per second. The more cycles your RAM can perform per second translates into how much data can be stored and therefore a smoother experience. Now let's go on to latency or CAS or CAS latency or also known as CL uh, whenever you're looking or trying to find it on the RAM module. So CAS, column access strobe, is the delay time when your RAM receives a command to the point of issuing a command. Okay, so for instance, I open uh, Google Chrome it receives and then sends the command, right? So that's the amount of latency, the delay in that cycle. So an example of how this might look is 15, 17, 17, 15. Okay, these numbers indicate how many clock cycles it takes for your RAM to respond to a command. Keep in mind, faster megahertz with lower CL latency may be slower than lower MHZ speed with faster CL latency timing. Let's jump into some benchmarks. As you can see here on our chart, we have 2400 megahertz versus 3200 megahertz at 32 gigs of RAM, but they're both at a different latency. Okay, the 2400 megahertz is at a CL14, which is a lower latency, which means it has shorter timings between the execution of the command. And then we have a CL22, which means we have a longer timing, more of a delay between the command. Okay, as you can see, they're neck and neck. So that tells me that the combination of a low latency and high megahertz is ultimately going to give me more performance. So if we were to boost up the CL14 to 3200 megahertz, we would see an increase in performance above the current 3200 megahertz RAM stick with a CL22. Now, making the right choice. Column access strobe is the delay time when your RAM receives a command to the point of issuing a command. So in our number example, 15, the first number, is the latency of this RAM module. These numbers indicate how many clock cycles it takes for your RAM to respond to a command. So let's go ahead and quickly look at some different options we have here. We're gonna pull up Team Group. They're the sponsor of the video. They provided RAM for me to run some of these tests. And as you can see here, we have our first contender, Team Group T-Create Classic, a 16 gig stick, 3200 megahertz, but at a CL22, versus the same brand, Team Group, which comes in a T-Force Zeus, 16 gigs, 3200 megahertz at a CL16. Not only is the Zeus RAM better performing because of the 3200 megahertz at CL16, but it's also on sale right now. So that would be the one that I would go for versus the 3200 megahertz at CL22. So that's how you can quickly identify and make a better purchase for your money. I want to thank Team Group for sending me a few RAM modules to run these tests. They've got great pricing, 100% lifetime warranty, and as you can see, some good options in picking the correct RAM for your laptop. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you want to miss out on the future episodes. I'll see you here in the next one.